you feel size was a factor in the main event? Do, do I feel size? Size was a factor. In the size is always a factor um, when you move up a weight class in this sport. Especially going, you know, it wasn't going bantamweight to featherweight. You were going middleweight to light heavy where you got a 20-pound difference. Uh, do you think that that showed itself there? It was definitely a, a factor. It was, a, a weight, you know, weight was a factor. You know, when you move up a, a weight class like that, strength is a factor. How hard these guys hit is a factor. Um, and uh, Jan is, is, is the real deal. You know, if you look at and think about what you personally and everyone else thought of Israel Adesanya going into this fight, Jan, Jan fought a great fight against him. So, and you know, is he losing? I mean, it obviously, it kills a number of big, big fights for you. Uh, do you think it drops him pound for pound because he was a middleweight? He was number three ranked in the in the division, and pound for pound is you know, if everybody was the same, he fought somebody who wasn't the same. Do you think he should hold his spot where he was, or do you think because you know he performed the way he did and uh, judges had it four rounds to one that you know maybe he he was too hot? Yeah, I, th I think it definitely. F first of all, we I think we can all agree, and I'm not defending Israel Adesanya here. That fight wasn't four to one. That's that's batch nuts. If anybody watched that fight and thinks that fight's four to one, you're nuts. It was even going into the last round. And Israel was winning the first half of the round. Then uh, Jan took him down and won the fight in the second half of the round. The only thing that makes that fight 4-1 to are ridiculous 10-8 rounds. I mean, who in this room thinks that that fight was 4-1? to Anybody? Tell me if you do. No? Yeah, not one person in here. People who watch fights every weekend think that that was 4-1. to it's a big problem right now with judging that needs to be fixed. And just to switch out to the uh, Sterling fight a second, to me it looked like it was an intentional knee. I know Peter said it was not. What was your what was your thought when you watched it? You know, live. I mean, that's the only way to judge. Do I think that the knee was intentional? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He threw the knee. Yeah, he threw the knee. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he didn't <laughs> slip and accidentally land the knee. No, but it was like he he. It's pretty obvious he was down, right? So, I mean, you know, you, you, fighters know that's, a, that's the rule. Yeah. It was an intentional <laughs> knee. <laughs> so he got hit with a knee. I saw some guys on the Internet saying it didn't even land. Oh, it landed. <laughs> it landed. Yeah, I like felt it. I guess what I was getting I was like, at oh it. Oh, my like God. Halfway you up or something. You know? Kidding me. It wasn't like he was halfway up. I mean, he was clearly still down. I mean, so what goes through a guy's mind in a, in a situation like that? I think that. I think that there's a lot of fatigue, frustration. It was, a, you know, it was, a, it was a, it was a good fight. Um, but the thing is, he, he was turning it on. He was starting to win the fight. He was starting to absolutely, positively take control of that fight. He was winning. You could see Aljamain Sterling breaking. Why you throw that knee? I, I couldn't tell you. And then my last question for you, Dana, is. Given what Izzy tried to do and was unable to do, does that show just how hard the double champ thing is and tell you about Amanda, what, you know, how great she is for being able to do what she's able to do? 100%. The double champ thing, you know, it's, it's, like, it's like the thing to do right now, but it isn't easy to do. The people who have done it are, are absolutely positively special. And uh, for somebody like Amanda Nunes, um, to keep both belts and keep defending both belts at the same time, Pretty badass. So, Dana, you mentioned in the past that you saw someone like Max Holloway go up a division and he looked too small for him yep. and you didn't want to see it again. Do you feel similar to Israel or could he work his way back up, put on some pounds and then maybe go to 205 in the future? Well, think about this. John Jones used to, used to be at that weight class. I mean, John's going to be so much bigger than Israel. Um, I think Israel should should focus on, on middleweight right now. Get back in there and, you know, keep doing what he does in the middleweight division. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.